What is up guys, Express Design here. And I'm here with another tutorial. Now this time, you guys absolutely loved my 3D text in the speed art. So I was thinking maybe I should make a tutorial on it. And that's what, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not as good with, uh, with Blender as I would like to, but I recently started going back into it. Thought, why not show you guys how I made that. Uh, Darling in the Franks, Franks 3D text. It's quite easy. Uh, Blender is completely free, so if you want to do this yourself, you can. Also, I'll maybe release this Blender uh, file so you don't have to do anything and just change the text. So the first thing you want to do is delete this cube and you want to just press uh, uh, X and just press delete. Then you just want to do is shift A so you have this little pop up. I hope my recording is picking that up. Uh, and then you have to go to text. You see you have your basic text right there. Click on tab and you can put whatever you want. So I'm going for this the total purpose just express there you go and you're probably thinking how do i select it not like that of course that is just the midpoint uh, user perspective you don't have to do anything with that just click tap again and now it's gone you go to your little a or little, your font editing and now you can see your resolution uh you can put that on 32 i guess because otherwise if you see if one it looks absolutely horrendous uh, texture spacing, just don't touch that. It's just this one, the uh, extrude that you have to touch so you can make it 3D. This is just the basic uh, option, of course. This is the basic tutorial. I'm going to make the depth uh, around something like this. Yeah, around there. You can also um, do random shit like this, but it's but you don't have, don't just don't do that. Just don't touch that. You can make a little bevel if you can see. Um, just on 0.1 the text has a little uh, edge so you can do uh, you can have like little uh, round edges and then you go to font and go to just go regular and you click on this little map and that's all your windows fonts that you'll have you can't see a preview of them so you have to know the name i guess this will so have something nice first we're going to rotate the text so you just click on this little uh, circle thing on the rotate tool make sure you have your text selected and oh, Make sure you just turn that around like so, so you can see it's how, how it's going to look on your banner. Uh, I'm going to the text spacing. I'm just going to put them a bit more next to each other. Like that are just touching, but not really touching. There you go. And I think I'm going to make the 3D more depth um, in it. There you go. I think that's a nice look. So if you go now to render and render image, you can see that's nowhere near the, the render that we want. The camera is all wrong. So what you want to do is you can see your camera is right here. You can position it to where you want, but I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to place a new one, a complete new one. So shift A again. Now you see little text and just bring in a new camera. Go to your little uh, arrows on the left, on the move tool and just move that up right where you want it if you want to check how it looks i just go quick to render image and you see that's way too close so and then more to the left and there you go and also you can also just go to view cameras and active camera and then you can see how it will look i think that's a nice position let me just go to render and render image how would that look i, don't know, I think that would look pretty nice now the thing is um we want our light this is a little light bulb that we have um you can make a new one, but I'm just going to move the position differently. I'm just going to put it on the left of the text, I'm going to put it more forward. I'm going to put our viewing port on viewport shading so we can see where the light is. You can see it's from the left. And I think, I don't know, um, it's not really that important, but if you want a nice lighting, you always make sure um, that there's more lightning than just one lightning. But for this basic tutorial, purpose um we are just going to do one lightning because that's way easier than more lightning you go to light and area you light up a whole area that you uh, enjoy i'm just going to make sure this is big enough uh how i scaled it up is just i'm pressing s and then moving the mouse upwards going back to the rotation tool and rotate that so it gives light to back of the text i'm going to position that very close to the text and go to render image you can see the back is all lit up and i think that has a nice effect i really like that you can see that the light is hitting the back also you can see there's just white and white is a bit boring 
So we're going to select the text and we go up to the shaders. I'm going to make a basic simple shader and with that shader I'm going to go to glossy and it's already gray. Go to render image and it's, and it's grayed out. And I think this is way better than just a normal standard one. You can also edit the color a bit, uh, the roughness of the text. I'm, I like to put the roughness a bit higher. You can see in the render image uh, the roughness I quite like. Did I put a bevel on this? Let me go back to the text. I'm thinking uh, the depth, yeah, I'm going to remove that. I don't think that fits the style. Go to render image again and you can see this is way better than before. 3D text. I think this is quite nice. This is a simple text and we're going to edit that, edit this of course in Photoshop. I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the speed art. Uh, you see, I okay, uh, in my tutorial that I recorded, I forget to tell you something guys to make your background transparent. I thought you rendered it out. Go to film and click on transparent. I forgot to tell you guys but now you know. So if you go to render render image, you can see the background at all is gone and go to image save and you can save image as how you want it uh, you normally have something like this and uh, normally it's should be and just turn that around a bit so you know it's horizontal there you go and i'm just going to do my little edit that i did on the speed art and it's just quite simple just duplicate your text and you're going to remove the 3d effect and how you do that is just you go over a bit go with your pen tool around the whole text and remove so once out you cut out the back normally i just type it again in photoshop but i forgot the font um, now we can really go in and edit that text um, so the first thing you want to do is double click the cutout part and just give it a stroke uh, a color what you like I'm just going to give it a blue color I guess boom there you go and with that I'm going to make it a two size or a three size put it on three yeah yeah and you're going to make another stroke you only click on this little plus and you have another stroke that pops out and now you wanted to make a um make sure the other stroke is a darker color so the outside is a darker color but then the inside is a normal color i'm just going to make the inner one a bit smaller there you go so you have two strokes the first one a darker color and the second one a lighter color so the first one is smaller and the second one is bigger that if you know how what i mean with that so you have this little effect now with that I want you to do a inner glow with a color whatever you want and a inner shadow at the same time and you want the size big with the inner shadow and the opacity around 16 something like that we're going to remove the fill opacity so double click layer style remove the fill opacity then go to your um, 3d text go to gradient map clipping mask on it go to your gradients uh, just take a blue what fits with your uh, with your style of course so i'm going to take this one i'm going to put that on a color there you go and you have your little 3d text um if you remove that it's just, it just has no color that's just it that's 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 really it uh, i'm going to put another clipping mask on it so make a new layer clipping mask with by alt going to your brush uh take a black or like a darker blue make the brush bigger i just made that bigger when holding alt and right clicking and going to the right with my mouse that's how i do that and then just fill in the bottom that's a bit too much fill in the bottom put your opacity a bit down like so make another one and then with a or just like a light color so a white and just going on the top going to put that on a screen and going to lower the opacity to around a 10 maybe 20 then again we want to do another clipping mask new layer uh, pressing alt taking a shade of blue so something like that and have make the brush a bit smaller and just to put a, a couple of dots in there then put that on a soft light opacity a bit down 
there you go and I think that's a nice text but we're not right done yet I can also put an image inside the text I'm not going to do that I'm just going to merge that make it duplicate it and go between camera roll filter camera roll filter always pops out your colors and make sure it is nice so once you're there you go just to the basics and put on the contrast and the exposure a bit that's all you do maybe put the clarity as well but that's it then go to color mixer and just put on the color that you like I'm going to make the blue a bit more baby blue like so I think that is quite nice there you go okay you can also do go to the bottom one calibration bit more blue okay we can also go to presets and look what's nice for on the text and there you go you have already a more popping out color than the other one and you can go to hue and saturation and you can change the color to whatever you want what if you go to if you want two colors at the same time go to your brush take a black brush and just boom have a couple of that's every somewhere and you have two colors on the same text and that's basically the 3d text that i did for the frank's um text i just uh i think i put another inner inner um, inner stroke a little white stroke but that's not really necessary and also put a image inside the text that's also not really necessary in this purpose but i hope you guys enjoyed this fast little tutorial for 3d text and blender i hope you guys learned something with this fast little text and maybe spice up your banners a bit so thank you guys for watching leave a like do more if you want and see you guys in the next one